Hello, Amazon.com. It's me, Bo Shevisu, along with my little daughter, Penelope. Today, we are testing probably the cutest little ladle that you've ever seen in your entire life. It is both functional and unique, quite creative, a wonderful little novelty. This here on Amazon is the messy ladle spoon type thing. Look, it even has little feet on the bottom. And there's his little face right there. You can kind of see, see daylight through there. Uh, very comfortable to use. I wouldn't necessarily use this in a large pot uh, because it, it's really not uh, the longest of spoons compared to, say for example, uh, this little ladle right here. As you can tell, side by side, uh, that, that this one extends a, a bit higher up. Uh, and it, it sort of goes like that. Very nice. Yes, this is an actual test review and demonstration of this little guy. Let's see how it actually pours out. It's okay. The little feet uh, kind of hang on to the, the, the liquid, so things kind of drip off of the feet. Uh, so it's not a perfect pour. Uh, so if you're if you're like like dishing out massive amounts of spaghetti sauce and, and, and holding it over the counter, the little feet may drip. Um, and so yeah, that's why I demonstrate and test these things so that uh, if you in fact you get this in the mail, you're not severely disappointed or if that's a make or break thing for you. For me, it's not a really make or break thing because I am just blown away by how incredibly cute and adorable this is. One thing to keep in mind, it's designed to be stored, well not necessarily stored, but placed in a pot. Uh, so if we put it in this pot of water right here, it's not on, don't worry, I wouldn't have a live stove with, with my daughter right here. Uh, but there's water in there, and as you can see, Nessie sort of slumps over. Uh, you need a thick liquid like spaghetti sauce for it to stay up like this. So if I try to release it, it, it will, oh wait, it's actually staying. You saw it kind of going down just a little bit. Uh, so it's not the most stable of ladles. Um, just keep that in mind. It also, if you put it flat, um, it, it doesn't actually stay very well up. Oh, wait, 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 I just balanced it right there. Look at that, check it out. Oh, it's balancing. Penelope absolutely loves it. However, if we actually point it over here to this countertop, and put it there, very perfectly flat countertop. It's staying very nice. Before when I tested this, it wouldn't stay. Uh, maybe it's because there's a little bit of water in there. I don't know, but it kept doing this earlier, like that. It quite wouldn't stay. Ah, okay, it's balanced. There we go. Don't breathe or else he may fall over. If you can get him balancing, excellent. Um, but yeah, just keep in mind it's just a little plastic cheap spoon that's kind of a novelty item. It's not necessarily supposed to be a high functionality spoon if you're a professional chef or anything like that. Uh, so for the cheapness and for the novelty and a little bit of functionality, I do give it a 5 out of 5 stars. It's probably one of my favorite cutest spoons that I've ever seen in my life. And Penelope approves as well. My name is Bo Shevisu, and I hope that you've enjoyed this small little test and demonstration. Oh, that's okay. Oh, of this Nessie spoon here on Amazon.com. Okay,